What is up, YouTube? Uh, this is brake light warranty. Uh, you guys might remember this bike as being pearl white. Uh, the bike has kind of gone through, um, I wouldn't say a crazy extensive, but a pretty intensive overhaul. Um, sorry, I haven't been posting a lot. I just, um, a lot of personal things were going on the last year. Obviously, then COVID, I should say two years, but nonetheless, I am back. Um, the bike is uh, here. Uh, obviously, the most obvious thing is the color change. This is uh, Voodoo Blue. Uh, it's a factory color from Toyota. Um, I've changed a lot on the bike since well, since anyone on YouTube has seen it. Um, I'll just give a quick, a quick rundown on this. Uh, bike is a 2016. Kawasaki Vaquero. Uh, it's fully customized aside from engine work. Um, obviously, that's a whole other animal with these bikes. Uh, there's not a whole lot we can do. Um, but up front here, we've got a 26 inch Rotation Industries Juno wheel um, matching single sided rotor. Um, the ABS on the bike has been completely deleted, the pump and everything's been removed. Um, it's all hard lined from the front, you know, front uh, brake to the caliper here, and same thing on the rear. Um, it's a personal preference. I bought the bike because I liked the color at the time. Um, to me, it rides, stops, brakes the same exact way. If, if, I mean, I know there's emergencies where you really got to get on the brakes, but even then, I never had my uh, ABS kick in. Uh, so. On the passenger side of the bike, I call it, um, the caliper bracket you can see was shaved off. Um, the front of the bike is on Air FX Air Ride now, front and rear. Um, I got that on a deal with an old Vaquero owner. Uh, I was fortunate enough, uh, passed a good deal on to me, so I, I went with it. Um, the fender is a bad dad, uh, yeah, bad dad uh, competition series 26 inch wrap fender. Um, I removed the front signals and I have these bars here, they're billet, uh, hyper white and amber, so they rotate back and forth, they call it, uh, switchback, I do believe. Crash bars are powder coated, gloss black, um, actually, I rode the bike for the first time today with the air ride, and, and it rides, it rides really well. Uh, I do believe there's some rebound adjustments that I can do. I'll uh, probably play with the back a little bit, but the front rides really well. Um, I've got the Roaring Toys uh, floorboards. Uh, up front here is probably the biggest change. Um, I removed the interfering, obviously, for paint. Um, I also, um, there's a company called Hefe's Custom Rings, I believe it is. He sells a 8-inch speaker pod you can either bolt these on which these are bolted on there's four screws on them but it's also the minor molded on so it's seamless it kind of makes the fairing look factory um i did but by no means do you have to uh i removed my glove box door um you can modify your factory glove box door to open with these it's not watertight but even the factory one wasn't watertight um so I, I did, I molded that kind of closed so the fairing is kind of like a, a custom one-off uh, thing, if you will. Um, I liked it. I added a little detail up here. Uh, I took the original black um, bezels out and I painted them blue. The bib uh, is painted black to match the inner fairing, obviously. And then I painted the ignition ring blue. Um, these are Baron miter bars. I've had these on the bike since it was brand new basically. Um, I'm not going to go into anything stereo related right now just because I don't have anything currently on the bike. Um, like I said, the bike is on Air Ride, uh, Air FX front and rear. Um, Air FX sells different switches, but the switches that my uh, install guy used, or I mounted them here. Top switches for the front Air Ride, bottoms for the back, uh, obviously up and down. Uh, the rear crash bars I also have black. Uh, I got these for my kids, the Kawasaki stock floorboards. They like them. Uh, I really wish Roaring Toys would come up with something, but maybe they will, maybe they won't. Who knows? Um, 
Those are my saddlebags. Those are pretty custom. I don't know if I posted a video about those or not. Um, those are one off. I did those myself. Um, I originally, two years ago, had six and a half inch speakers uh, kind of molded to the bags. You can see because I put the new eight inch ring right on top of the old one. Um, just because I did a really good job lining them up originally with the six and a halves. And I had the bike completely taken apart, so I wasn't able to, you know, fit everything at once to make sure they were symmetrical. But putting them on top of each other, they're they're dead even. Um, the doors have been bonded on and smoothed out, so it's like a seamless uh, look, if you will. Door handle has been completely removed, shaved, all the mechanisms have been removed. Um... It's an audio bike, but I do ride it, and I ride it every chance I get. Uh, so these rings are Hefe custom rings again. Uh, he makes a ring specifically for the Vaquero. He's the only one that makes them uh, to mount a 10-inch forward. Um, so that's basically like a giant speaker box. It's all reinforced um, fiberglass on the inside. I did those myself. Right now... In the garage, the bike is fully aired out. It gets uh, it gets pretty low, so I'm happy with it. I have here um, the custom dynamics lay down plate frame, and there is an LED light. Uh, if any of you guys remember, I had three turn signals. I switched. I went to just one. Um, a lot of people were doing a three. A lot of guys still have the one. I just you know wanted something a little bit different. Uh... Vance and Hines Pro Pipe. It's a two one to one single side, and then Roaring Toys intake. Underneath the seat, I have uh, the ECU has been flashed by Ivan's Performance. That's been done. I believe the bike had 500 miles. On, no, 10 miles on it when I did that. Um, just because I'd had it on a couple of my old bikes, and I swear by it. Uh, whatever he does is like magic. And then I also have a lithium. Uh, battery in the factory location. It's very small. I'm going to probably upgrade to a larger one when I do the audio this winter because uh, the audio uh, is going to have a lot of a lot of. I'm going to need a lot of uh, consistent volts, and I don't know how well that battery will do. I don't plan on doing any audio competitions, but I ride and I listen to music loud, so I don't want to um, run into any stator issues or anything like that. So that's just another kind of. View of the fairing and the gauges. So that's it. Like I said, it's been a while since I posted, um, but this is uh, this is the old white rice. Uh, we're gonna call it blue now. We're gonna come up with a nickname, another another nickname at some point. But that's it. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. If it's your first time stopping in, uh, feel free to subscribe if you'd like. Um, I try to reply and comment on the, in the comments as much as I can. Um, I am going to start uh, trying to get on a normal routine of uploading, not just bike content, but just regular stuff. I work at a body shop, so I see some pretty cool stuff. Uh, we work on some pretty neat cars once in a while. So, But that's it. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Again, if you have any questions, drop a comment. Um, and like I said, I do respond to them as soon as, or as much as I can when I see them. Um, thanks for watching and have a good night.